Hi, I'm Ben. I'm a computer science student and I'm going to be taking you through the basics of programming in Python. So the first thing you're going to need to do is install Python from python.org. If you're using a Windows machine, you should be able to download uh, the most recent version from this button here. We're going to go to the list of uh, downloads. We can see the version history down here. Uh, I'm using Python 3.10.2, as long as you're using some version of Python 3, it shouldn't matter too much. Um, you scroll down to the bottom here, we've got installers for Windows and Mac. So, to get that installed, it shouldn't be too difficult. Make sure you uh, tick the box that says add to path, because that might be helpful later on. I'll also but in the description, a tutorial that walks through it step by step, just in case you need that. Once you've got that installed, you should be able to open up Idle or Integrated Development and Learning Environment. Uh, here we can type Python code. Uh, we really shouldn't do it in the shell though. If anything, we should open up a new file and type our Python code here, and then press Run Module. I have to save first. I don't have anything here, so it's not going to do anything right now. Then it'll run in the shell. And that's okay, but as you can see in the background, I've got Visual Studio Code, which is much nicer for development. So you can follow along in idle. I'm going to be using VS Code, however. And if you want to use VS Code for yourself, you can get it from code.visualstudio.com. Once you're in VS Code, make sure you install the Microsoft Python extension from the extensions tab down here. Uh, it just makes running Python a lot easier. You can do it without it, but it's better if you have it. So first of all, I'm going to quickly answer the question of what is programming and why do we need to do it? Now, if you found this video, there's a good chance you already know what programming is, but uh, for example, if you're in school or university and you're being taught about programming, they don't really tell you why you're doing it. So, computers are very fast, but they're not smart. Anything you do on a computer, we need to tell it exactly how to do it, or someone at some point will have had to tell it, the computer exactly what to do. So, for example, if I load up the calculator app here, uh, it's a fairly simple simple app, um, but every time we click a button, the computer needs to know what to do. You need to tell it. To do. So this is a program. Someone sometime has written a program to take inputs and calculate a result and display it. This is another simple program. This one I've written. Uh, we are asked for the width of a rectangle, maybe 10 centimeters, and the height of a rectangle, let's say five centimeters, and it calculates and displays the result. And we're going to be learning how to make a program a bit like this later on. Let's get started on basics. So I've just remembered I've missed something, so it's future me talking here. But if you notice here, we've got the instructions, this is called the source code, and we've got the solution of the terminal here. Now these two separate concepts are pretty important to understand. Source code is where we tell the computer what to do. The solution is what would kind of be distributed to the end user. So in VS Code, I'm going to come over to here and click the new file button and I'm going to call it output.py. You can call it whatever you want, but it needs to have the extension .py. Uh, sometimes, for example, in idle, if you're saving a program, it will give you .py anyway. But anyway, let's click enter, and we get a new file. So the first most basic operation in any programming language is displaying some kind of output to the console, and the console was this bit here, also known as the terminal. 
So in order to get some output to this area, the keyword that we use in Python is print. So if we type print here, we're going to need some brackets afterwards. And inside of those brackets, we are going to want some speech marks. And then we can type whatever we want. Let's type hello world. Like that. And now we can save the program. Control S. Uh, I'm currently using full screen mode, but there's an option to save over here. You can also run using Control F5. Uh, it will likely give you an uh, a drop down asking you which kind of configuration you want to use. Hopefully it will come up with uh, Python 3.10 if you've installed it properly from earlier. Just click that one and we'll get the program running like this. So the last thing I want to mention for this video is comments. Comments is text that we can write in the source code of a program that doesn't actually impact the program. Now this is used to add extra clarity to uh, the instructions. So if I was to have a particularly complex instruction, uh, what I could do is I could press the hash symbol and I could just type uh, this line does something. This isn't a particularly useful comment right now, but uh, this line need green text. Sometimes it's grey, comments are usually grey, but anything after the hash symbol in Python will be a comment. We also have something called multi-line comments. Uh, we can use three kind of speech marks here and then anything between these two sections is also a comment. So that's all for this video. Next video we'll be talking about data types and variables.